Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We are here to check out the PS Plus games for the month of October that will be coming up soon. Now we've got an announcement for the EU games, uh, we will be getting an announcement for the Hong Kong games fairly soon as well. But let's check out to see what the ones for Europe are going to be at least. Um, Europe and America tend to have a very similar list, so we'll see what they actually are in comparison to each other. Time to power up your PlayStation experience with PlayStation Plus. All right, bring it on. Let's see what October brings. So we have the Phantom Pain MGS5, the hub based, mission based continuation of the Metal Gear Solid series with its complete lack of a final chapter. Konami's final fuck you to Hideo Kojima. We've also got the Amnesia Collection, which has been covered previously by the Hong Kong store. So we know that's not going to be this month's Hong Kong game because we've already had it before. And of course we have That's You, which is on its last month as a free PS Plus game. So if you haven't already got it previously for yourself, then get it now before it actually gets removed. Because it'll be your last opportunity to do so. And outside of that, it's not really listed to any of the other games that are available, which is kind of disappointing. It's a, admittedly, it's kind of su not surprising because they they don't really list they don't really list all the games that are available that are um, PS3 releases as well. Let's bring up the list here and actually double check it because they've got monster we've got monster trucks jammed on PS3. We've got uh, two PS Vita titles as far as I remember. So that was our PS4 releases. Let's see what else was actually on the uh, release schedule for PS3 on top of that. Now there's not that many people. Uh, really playing as much PS3 as there used to be, but it's kind of nice that they're still kind of folding us along. We, we know for a fact that they want to kind of move on from the PS3 and the Vita. And I'm a little bit disappointed this one didn't have another PSVR title because Riggs was a great game to get for free because I was never going to buy that game otherwise. And admittedly, I didn't really enjoy its gameplay whenever I did do a coverage of it here on the channel. You can see it up in the card. There'll be a card probably that I can actually link to it right there in the background. But um, yeah, what did we have? We have... Monster Jam Battlegrounds, we got it. to be honest, since we've already got uh, Fortnite doing its Battle Royale, we need another game, Battlegrounds, just to kind of confuse the titles a little bit. Uh, Monster Jam is a monster truck game, as far as I can remember. It's a, essentially a, a vehicular combat monster truck game, which is a good idea. I like, I like the context of that. Um, I could get around to actually shooting some, uh, shooting some guys. We also have Hustle Kings for the PS3. Hue for both the PS Vita and PS4, so we've got a cross by game that's been included, and Sky Force Anniversary for PS Vita and PS4. So that's actually two games. So we are two indie games, are also a PS Vita game. So two cross by games for the Vita and PS4, which is kind of nice because uh, the Vita's not getting as many games released for it anymore, and a lot of them are showing up on PS4 anyway because of people who made them going like shit. We might have chosen the wrong platform, so they're going to transfer some of the touch capabilities to the touchpad in the front of the screen or front of the control pad. Uh, doo -doo -doo. that's that's all the games that we've actually got announced for PS PS Plus for the month of October 2017. Not a lot of people are going to say like, "Oh, this is great because it's a great AAA title." Like, Man, Phantom Pain wasn't great. If you if you really want to see what people are actually pissed off about currently about Shadows of War and its microtransactions. Phantom Pain is a good way to look at it because this whole forward operating, forward operating base of the online that was attached to it did kind of uh, ruin a lot of people's enjoyment of Metal Gear Solid 5. I actually picked up Metal Gear Solid 5 on my American account back whenever uh, it first came out because it was a, just a good deal. I got, it for, got it for a little bit cheaper. But the, um, the online was always a problem for me because uh, Metal Gear Online and... Phantom Pain are actually, they're like two separate downloads and then I couldn't pull down the EU versions of it and then I was having a problem playing with anything other than my American account. So I never went and played through it for the achievements. Uh, so I had a personally bad experience playing Phantom Pain because I just, I got to a point where I just, I didn't want to play it anymore because one of the hassle and two, there was a mission that just was kicking my ass and um, I just never wanted to finish it. And I ended up just watching cutscenes online instead. And I was extremely disappointed by the fact that the story goes the way it does and just kind of stops. And we're probably never going to get another Mega Solid kind of like mainline title made from the mind of the lunatic himself, Kojima. But um, yeah, it's nice to get the title for free. We uh, it, it makes sense because one of the earliest titles on the PS4 that I remember getting was the what did they, what did they call the Phantom Pain's pre prologue episode? Oh god, I can't even get it off the top of my head. But yeah, they actually already give the pre -log, prologue episode as a other gift at one point. The only thing that they haven't done, which I think will probably be maybe next month, maybe for Christmas, um, which I honestly thought they should have probably done for October because they're in a bit more Halloween-y, a bit more kind of a scary time. Uh, they're putting an Amnesia collection. Why didn't they do The Last of Us as well? 
Like, The Last of Us and The Last of Us Left Behind should really, the remaster should really be on PS Plus by this point, but it hasn't actually appeared. Um, so I think they're just trying to eke out every single dollar they can, and they've realized that there's no market in fandom being at all anymore, so let's push that one forward first. Um, let's see if they actually can keep this path up, because the problem is that you can run out of good titles to play, and you can run out of titles that nobody really cares about, but you can get them, give them a little bit of a boost again as soon as they actually do the PS Plus thing. I might go back to Metal Gear Solid 5, give it another try, now that we actually will have more players back into it again, and plus the fact it'll be available on my EU account as well. But uh, let's look forward to seeing what Hong Kong brings us. I've got a feeling that the Hong Kong game is going to be Phantom Pain as well. But at least we know it cannot be Amnesia Collection. Because they, they literally, literally this month finishing was already Amnesia Collection. So <laughs> what, what are they going to do? What are we going to trade up with? Are we going to get someone that we're, are we going to, uh, as well, we're going to get? Are we going to get Strike Vector EX, which was the American alternate title this month? on the Hong Kong account now, so they're just rotating things around, going like, right, well, if you have one, you might as well have the other, so you're literally buying two games every single month that are exactly the same. Um, if they continue that pattern, I'll probably be a little bit annoyed, but I'd rather see something a little bit more unique coming from the Hong Kong store. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you actually enjoyed getting a wee look at what's going to be coming on PS Plus over the next month. Like I said, we'll be back with the Hong Kong one once it's announced, but uh, have yourselves a good day, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.